Hey guys, it's Andy here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this miniature Da Vinci catapult. Nice. So I started with the base. I decided to make the base from this wooden fold-out ruler, mainly because I had no other particular use for it. Also, being a ruler, it makes it easier to chop into equal lengths. I began by chopping the ruler into two lengths of four inches and two lengths of two and a half inches. I'll be using four of these 5cm M60 bolts to piece everything together. I then went on to drill three holes, equal lengths apart, on the four lengths of ruler. Make sure the holes are big enough to fit the screws. I then used the bolts to piece together the frame as shown. With the help of a few nuts, everything should stay in place. There we go. I then cut out two right angle triangles from a sheet of acrylic. Once I've smoothed them out, these will help secure the main frame. Using hot glue, I attached the first triangle to the edge of the frame like so. I then used the holes that were already there to carefully guide the drill through. Once that was done, I did the exact same thing for the opposite side. There we go. I then screwed in another bolt through those holes. Next, it was time to make the pivoting shaft. For this, I decided to use an empty ink refill from a pen as it's easy to drill into. I cut it down in length and then drilled two tiny holes into the centre. I also came across this plastic mechanical cog from the inside of an electronic toy. This will do fine for the trigger mechanism. I increased the hole in the centre so it was wide enough to squeeze over the shaft. Two tiny pieces of cocktail skewer were then added to the two holes that I'd made in the shaft. I then made another small hole, 90 degrees from the skewer holes. This hole will fit in the launching arm. I decided to use this metal rod for the launching arm. I found this small square piece of wood and then crafted it into a scoop using the rotary tool. This was then attached to the shaft, which was then attached to the frame. Next, it was time to make the springy arms which power the catapult. To make these, I cut out two lengths from a plastic container. You need to make sure the plastic is flexible enough to give enough torque to power the catapult. I smoothed each one of them out and then drilled a hole at the end. There we go. These were then slotted under the outer screws and then glued onto the centre screw. Simple. I then tied string to the skewers on the shaft, which was then tightened and tied to the flexible arms. You can see how I've attached the string to the shaft in such a way that when I pull the launching arm, the flexible arms tighten up and create torque. The trigger device is just a simple chopped up lolly stick with a hole in the end and a smaller hole in the centre to attach rope. This trigger device catches with the cog until it's pulled, releasing the catapult. I also glued on this little ledge to stop the launching arm from unevenly hitting the frame. Add some rope to the trigger device and we're ready to go. Nice. 
Nice. So there we have it. How to make a miniature Da Vinci catapult. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. The links are down below. And other than that, I'll see you next time.